or display. This is the thing that's going to take the most time for you to install, so we want to address that now. Um, here's a few things to look for. Here's just the general assembly of the, the fixture. Um, take note of the parts. It's a little difficult to see some of the items, but we're going to go through it the best we can on what they are and how to apply them and where they go and all that kind of stuff. Um, look for that carton. I believe that there's 10 cartons that consist of this fixture, that make up this fixture. Okay, um, we found that it's easiest and fastest to assemble the left and right patio door structures first, and we're showing you how to do that here. There is a top or vertical extrusions here. There is this, if you can see, if I can get a pointer going here. If you can see along this edge, this constitutes the front of the patio door display, and it's straight. The other side is angled, and the reason that it's angled is when this whole thing is assembled, this, uh, patio doors pitch in just a little bit, so they're at a slight angle. Um, so that's, that's why we've done that. So what you do first is you identify um, the patio door fixture. Uh, get them assembled, find the base. There are these uh, protruding weldments here that are on the end. You're going to use those to mount these vertical sections on here. And a couple of things to note, uh, right here where my pointer is, there are four uh, pilot holes and four pilot holes here. The bottom of every uh, vertical has four pilot holes as well. So you can orientate yourself as to what is top and bottom here just by identifying where these uh, pilot holes are. Don't get them upside down because you'll be tearing the thing apart uh, in 30 minutes or so trying to get it right. Um, so get that assembled. There are this vertical section slides over this uh, weldment here and then there are two uh, 10, or I'm sorry, quarter 20 screws per side that screw in through this groove in the vertical into that weldment. Well, we've uh, pre-tapped that, so it's a really easy application. So get the left section and the right section together. Again, another couple of things to note, pilot holes go to the inside of the door. So if you're facing this uh, door assembly, the pilot holes for these four and these four will be to the left and to your right, but always on the interior of that. So we'll go through that a little bit more as well. Here's showing the right and how to get that together. What we do is there are these uh, 90 degree angle brackets that have set screws in them. We get the set screws in the angle brackets first and then we, we don't, we, then we put them into the extrusion. We don't tighten anything down. We lift it up and then that L bracket will go within this uh, vertical extrusion here and here. Um, Keep them loose so that you can adjust them, but uh, when you get it in place, then you can tighten down the uh, the Allen screws or set screws on that to get the assembly looking good. Here is what the final will look like. And then the reason why we pay so much attention to the pilot holes on the inside and the outside is because we're going to add these horizontal um, beams that's going to hold a graphic in place. Uh, and those pilot holes are used to hold those beams in place. So because, again, that these patio doors are pitched, take note of the angle of these beams. So the angle, shorter angle, is going to face you or towards the uh, millwork desk. That'll indicate the front. Uh, that way you get the, the patio doors pitched in the right direction. Uh, these vertical supports here are used uh, to hold the graphic. There's a small angle piece that slides in through the groove. Uh, again, we use um, set screws to hold those in place, and then there's Velcro on these sides to help hold the graphic. Um, orientate yourself also with these uh, horizontal beams because there is a groove in them. The bottom beam will have the groove facing up, and then the uh, top beam will have the groove facing down and that's what's going to allow you to assemble uh, these graphic holders in place there. We're showing you some spacing of those. Um, it's not hugely critical that it is dead on accurate, but we've just given you some indication to put this one six inches over, 
uh, this uh, the middle one 24 inches and then 42 inches over from the left. What's important here is that they are uh, plumb. So you have a good, that the top bracket is equal to the bottom bracket so that that sits straight in there. Uh, you'll see exactly how those work here in a minute. 